Nobody today travels without a cell phone. We use it for not only a phone, but for internet, to do our banking, all types of stuff. One of the challenges is getting into an RV park that may not have real good cell phone signals. The tower may be far away, you have obstacles in the way. We have a product here that is from WeBoost that's gonna help enhance that cell phone signal on a 3G or a 4G or LTE and be able to give you less dropouts and, and better cell phone reception. It's the Connect RB65 and we have the model here. Uh, it starts with a little foot plate on the bottom. That can be spiked down into the ground uh, to help secure it. It also has a set of these mounting brackets. And what we do with these is get them into a place. They need to be about four feet away, but they have this bracket and it just has an adhesive on the back side of it. And we take that off and place it on the sidewall of the RV so we don't have to worry about putting any kind of fasteners, screws, anything into the side of that. And then we're just gonna slide this onto that bracket and it's gonna hold it right up against the sidewall of the RV. Now these need to be about four feet away, uh, minimum is what it states in the in installation manual. And they do have an excellent manual. It goes through uh, every step of this. So we start with our pole here and we've already put our exterior or outside antenna here on with this L-shaped bracket. And you see the wing nuts in here. It does allow us to put different angles if we need to have it higher or even bring it down. I can adjust this by just turning this a little bit and moving. You can see here, but before you do that, you want to make sure that you've got nothing in the way, that you don't have any, uh, especially power lines, that I'm going to put this up to. So I can go quite a ways up in the air to get over walls, um, obstacles, other RVs that might be in the way to help get that signal. So then the next thing, we're going to take this, and we do need to bring a coax into the inside of our RV to our booster here. Um, it doesn't need power on the outside. It's going to be get power through the coax cable here. So we're just going to connect this. Just down a little bit here. There we go. And I would definitely want to tighten this up with a wrench or something. We'll just leave this loose for demonstration purposes. Then I'm going to take the other end of this and they recommend in the installation manual to bring it through a slide room. Uh, you do have a bulb seal and a flap and a little bit of a, a gap. Now one of the things you want to make sure, don't bring the slide room all the way out because then it's going to have an inside frame that hits up against it. Do about halfway and then you'll be able to get your, your cable through there. We're just going to snake this through the bedroom slide. Uh, you can do it through any one of the slide rooms. One of the alternatives you may find in bringing the coax cable in rather than going through the slide room and through rooms to get to the booster and to the um, interior antenna is most of your RVs have an exterior coax connection. It's usually over on the service side, in the service center, or in, on the side of the unit on the driver's side. So you could hook up to a campground cable system or you could do a portable satellite dish. That's a great cable for you just to connect very easily the uh, exterior antenna coax to that it's going to run up to your entertainment center so in motorhomes you would see it up in the front above the drivers and passengers area in a trailer you may see it back by the television which is a great spot because i have power there i have a coax already pre-wired for everything so check and see if you have a coax in your service center or an exterior cable connection that would make this a lot easier now if you want to do a little more permanent mount and not have to try and thread that in every single time, you can go through the roof uh, vent of the refrigerator like we did with a solar panel uh, in one of the videos beforehand. There's a roof vent on the top, we just take that off, fish it down the back side of the refrigerator and bring it out. Then I could just disconnect this on the outside um, as I set it up and tear it down. So a little more permanent mount um, makes it a little easier. Inside then, we're going to put our uh, booster. And this just happens, it'll do 32 times boost on a 3G, 4G, or an LTE network, Verizon, AT&T, all to the carriers. And this is just going to be permanently mounted inside somewhere in a cabinet out of the way where we can get our coax cable into it. It does need to be powered. So we have two different power sources. We have a 120 volt source here that is going to uh, put out a 5 volt charge or power to this or we can connect to a 12 volt source 
and it'll do the same thing. It'll bring a, a five volt charge to this. So for boondocking, we don't have to have electrical electricity uh, to run this system. So it just goes into this point right here. Um, then we have our antenna, which is our interior antenna. And they do have a specific distance that these two need to be away, so, uh, away from each other. So check your manual to make sure that you've got the antenna far enough away from the inside uh, antenna. But you want to put this in an area that's nice and open, typically in the uh, kitchen area or the living room, somewhere where you've got a, a wide variety of open space. It will go through, the signal will actually go through wood walls, doors. Um, it will not penetrate steel. So in a building like this, we're probably not going to be able to get it to go through a steel wall, but we could have it outside, this uh, outside, and bring our coax through here because typically buildings like this are, are notorious for not having a uh, good cell phone uh, reception inside of it. So the basic components, once again, is we've got a pole with our outside antenna. And, and this is an important part. We get a lot of questions from people saying, well, can I get internet with this? You get internet, it, it's a cell phone uh, reception from the towers. The only way to get internet is to have some type of a hotspot or provider, either in your phone or something like Verizon, like this that, uh, that I use as a hotspot and it will work that way then it change, takes a cell phone to the Wi-Fi. But you got our, our pole here, we're going to mount it outside, bring our coax in through the uh, slide room seal to our booster, 32 time boost, into our interior antenna. So, and we can do a variety of different devices with it so we can get cell phone reception just about anywhere. If you have a smaller unit, then um, in a little less, a little more portable type of deal is the Drive 4G XRV. And now this is going to have a smaller antenna that's pretty much permanently mounted on the top of the vehicle. You can go to a ladder rack, um, got brackets that they could put it up on the top, bring the coax in either into the roof vent, in through a slide room if you want. They also have in the kit a small little drill bit you could put a hole through the side of the RV with the grommet and bring it in that way. It has a little different booster, but it's the same uh, type of situation. Both these are going to run off of either 120 volt power that is converted to a 5 volt, um, or if you're boondocking, it does have a 12 volt connection, so you don't have to have electricity in, in both of these. This would then um, go to the inside uh, antenna as well, which is this model here. So it's not permanently mounted, it's going to be in a table or something like that um, inside the coach. So a variety of different products help you to eliminate those dead spots, those dropouts, boost your cell phone signal anywhere you're going.